a very warm welcome to all of you to the first Dr. Samuel Paul Memorial Lecture. A tribute to a great man, a great vision, and above all, to his unwavering commitment to the public good. Public Affairs Center is the result of his conviction that civil society must engage the state and hold it to account. It is a matter of pride for all of us who had the opportunity to work with Dr. Samuel Paul that PAC has grown from what was a one-man office established in Dr. Samuel Paul's home to today a prestigious think tank, part of the think tank initiative comprising over 30 young, extremely talented researchers led by a team of my colleagues with a great deal of experience. Since my childhood, Swami Vivekananda's epoch-making doctrine, service to man is service to God, it inspires me to continue my mission. So, when I founded my school, Anundo Shikthanikatam, in English, the home of joyful learning. I, I had faced lots of challenges. So when I founded Anundo Shikthanikatam, the village elders were very skeptic to educate their children, as because they were not educated themselves. Hence, they used their children as the helping hand for their family. And to educate girls, there was a strong reservation in our society. So when I perceived to the parents to send the children at my school, the first question I was asked, how education will be important even who cannot afford to use square meals in a day and to educate girls, they will not find husbands. But I ignored all the criticism and went ahead with my plan. And nowadays at my school, there is 60 percentage of girls and 40% is <laughs> Only things you should have into your heart are courage, purity, honesty, and above all, love. Actually, I heard the call of love in the core of my heart, and I pursued and ultimately succeed. I think we should have the motto, we must do something extraordinary for the sole human life. We must leave a mark on the soil of this art. And the national ideals of India are renunciation and service. So we should renounce our earthly pleasure to the people who are still unfed, unclothed, and unsettled. With muscles of iron and nerves of steel, we should conquer all the miseries of our life. These two lines should be embossed on the tablet of our mind. My days to go before I sleep, and my days to go before I sleep. However, education for all is my dream, and me and my friends were trying to educate thousands of children at my area. And in near future, we will open more schools. And one of the most important thing for our Anundo Shikha Nikhetan, my Anundo Shikha Nikhetan, it is not only for the bookish knowledge, it also helps the students to become a good people who can positively impact our society. I must say that this is a very special occasion for me. As I come before you and speak before you on the issue of child poverty, child in poverty and justice for children. I was so happy that the Public Affairs Index this year has focused on children's rights. And that it is, I read through it very carefully, and I must say that it had truly impressed me. It's not easy. I'll just give you an example of the data war that is going on in the country today. I say it from the experience at a very micro level. I will not mention the uh, district, I will not mention, uh, it is in the state of Telangana. The district claimed that there were only 2,000 children who were out of school. 
and the district collector requested us to help him assess the actual numbers of children who were out of school. So what we did was we looked at the attendance register in each school and did a physical verification of children who were attending school on that particular day and continued that exercise for three months for every week. And we found that although their names were in the attendance register, at least 60% of them were not in schools. They were working as migrant laborers. Some of them dropped out. There were names of children who were not even alive, whose names were still in the attendance register. And girl children who got married and perhaps have left the school, their names were also in the attendance register. And somewhere we found that while the attendance register had names of children, it really did not capture what was actually happening to children. And that is when, in fact, we involved the school teachers along and they were very shocked. But there was a huge pressure on us on this and asked us to stop the entire exercise of, uh, of really noting down the list of children who are out of schools. So in a way, the, the, the data I, I, in an earlier public uh, uh, PAI uh, index report, they did talk about a static data and a dynamic data which I thought was so important, even when we talk about children's data, where there is a static data that there are so many children who are out of school, but if you look at the dynamic data, you find that they keep coming in and out, out of school, and the PAI has recognized this problem, and the way they mentioned it was, how do you make both a photograph and a videograph, and capture the uh, essence of it, and I thought that was what is necessary, especially when you're talking about the dynamics of movement of the poor on the ground, you know, and that I felt very happy about. Now, while I do agree that community mobilization is important, that is what we have been doing all the time, uh, I represent MB Foundation, we have withdrawn over one million children from work and put them into schools and followed up with them till they completed class 10. What it actually meant was making one million plans that the data for us was a sensuous reality. It was counting every child and trying to plan for each child in a manner that the conflict is resolved. Getting a child to school or giving a child nutrition or giving a child health is a process of resolving of conflict, which I will uh, talk to you later. But what I'm saying is when you talk about community mobilization, you're actually talking about a process of resolving conflicts. And it is in the process of resolving conflicts that you are generating a public debate, public discussion. You are taking sides and you are saying that, look, are we on the side of children or are we not? If we are on the side of children, let's engage with the system. And in the process of that, you find what the gaps are in the system. Community is mobilized to correct the gaps in the system. As you mentioned, you need both community mobilization but then it is a state's responsibility to protect children's rights. So one would have to engage through collective action with the state. One can't give up on the state. One can't be cynical about the state because that is the only instrument the poor have. So one will have to engage with the state and, and uh, see that uh, the voice of children become the voice of establishment and the voice of authority. Mm -hmm.